G'day, I'm Dave TTC and this is Dave's Cave. Well, I haven't been around for a long time and some might be wondering what I'm doing, some might have forgotten who I am. Uh, truth is, uh, since I started doing the markets soon after those last lots of videos about the various woodworking projects I was doing, I got into laser engraving. And so here uh, I've got set up, I'll scan across to the side You'll see I've got three lasers set up here, side by side. I've actually got three more uh, elsewhere, but these are my go-to ones at the moment. And I'm running Lightburn on a Mac Mini. Three lasers all hooked up simultaneously. I'll share different features about that later on. But today what I want to look at is using the Lasermatic. Okay, so here we are with the Lasermatic. I'm going to turn that back on. Now out of the factory, it homes front left. The problem is, is if you're using a roller such as what I've got in here now, I'll just turn that off again. If you home by mistake, you run in to the roller. Now the other thing is I don't like it homing at the front because I don't want to have to reach over the gantry in order to put my material in there to burn. So my preference is for it to home at the back, but not the back left, because if I'm doing work here, something goes wrong and I'm doing low work, then when it homes, it runs into this. Now you'll see that I've pulled out this back stand just for while I'm doing some work on the roller so that yes, it can home to the back corner. And when you look at the screen, you'll see that my point of origin is still down here in the bottom right. What you can do is you can set up your home in any position and your origin in any position. In this video I'm not going to go into the detail of how to do it, I'll do that in the following video. But today what I want to simply show you is, yes, you can simply home to the back corner. So let's connect it. We are connected and we're going to home. And there you go, we're homing to the back. Now there's one little glitch that I haven't got over yet. If you watch this, I'm going to try and send this to the roller position. So I'll hit go and the initial takeoff still for some reason goes into the home position so it bumps and stops. So what I do to get around that is I hit home, there we go, we've homed, and then I just jog one down, one left, and now I can hit run to my position over here and then I can set up and do my roller. Uh, in this case here, these little holes, I put three pen blanks in there and I can set up to do that. Excuse the dog in the background, making a bit of noise. So just very quickly, yes, you can set up wherever you want for home and for your point of origin and they don't have to be in the same place. I have three lasers. I've got a laser matic in there this one with the built-in enclosure and this one here, it's a 20 watt, whatever you call that thing. Um, and now I've set them all up so that they all home at the back right and the point of origin is all at the front left. Okay. Um, not sure if you can see down here, I don't think you can. New addition to the family. But we have... Oscar, who is nice and friendly, young pup. Um, anyway, getting back to the question, can you have 
your point of origin anywhere you want later on you hear me say yes 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 but I will just add a caveat to that it does depend on you having limit switches and you need to have limit switches in the direction that you want to be the home direction so in the case of the lasermatic it has limit switches in every direction so that means with the lasermatic you can in fact have your home position in any corner you want and you can set it up so that you have your origin in any corner you want I've got all of mine set up the same so that I can share files from one to the other uh, when I come to my 20 watt I've got to obviously adjust the uh, settings of the actual laser but the file is going to be the right way around I'm not going to have to invert it flip it or do anything like that uh, and that is handy now at this point Leo if you're listening Leo is the producer of the lasermatic if the home position was made factory at the back right I had to think about that uh, if, if that was made in the factory for future ones uh, there may be advantage to that for the reasons I've mentioned also if this post could be made with some sort of quick release mechanism maybe if it was screwed down below this height um, and then there was a way to be able to just quick release the top that would be choice that would be gold so just a couple of ideas there uh, the other thing is if you're going to keep selling the rollers this button when I'm doing pens it doesn't let me get down low enough to laser the pen so if that can be made somehow a little bit lower I realize you probably buy these already done it's not your design and then also with the rotary truck I know Chuck I know you've designed that and had that made I haven't seen it I don't know what the mechanism is for the tail stock but if any adjustments are made down low so that when you're turning small stuff you actually clear the tail stock end uh, that would be a great thing overall I agree with everyone else it's the best laser in its class